Hey, Gino the Soup Man here. We're gonna show you our smoking potato leek. This is an awesome soup as a standalone soup, but it can also be used as a base. It is dairy free and vegan like all our soups. And today I am gonna make a mock clam chowder and a clam chowder using the base and some great ingredients. All right. We're gonna make both the mock clam chowder and the clam chowder together so that all my prep is done in bulk. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little bit of olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. And I've turned my flame onto about medium low. And then I'm gonna chop up the potatoes. So I'm using the Yukon Gold potato. It makes for a perfect chowder tater. I'm gonna chop them up into about quarter inch diced. And I'm gonna put about a full cup of potatoes per chowder. Okay. So I got my potatoes cut. Now I'm gonna take my smoked tempeh. Traditionally, clam chowder is done with bacon, but I'm gonna make this dairy free and I wanna make sure that the mock clam chowder is vegan. So I'm gonna put about half of this smoked tempe in here, half in this one. And I'm gonna take a spoon and get her nice and mixed up. Kind of allow that to start simmering and getting some of that smoky flavor from the tempe and the potatoes already going. So at this point, I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit while I then go to dice my onions. So I'm gonna dice the onions at about the same thickness as the potatoes, quarter to a half inch. And in the chowder, you really wanna get chunks. It's part of the deal. And again, this is for a whole batch of making both soups. So I'm gonna put the onions in, give it a little stir. Turn that heat up a little bit more. So as you can see, each time I do one of these, I'm turning the heat up just a little bit more. Oh, the aroma off this is starting to really turn on. And then lastly, I am going to cut my celery. So with the celery, I just go right down the middle, just like that. I leave the leaves in and all. I'm gonna go right down the middle here. And then again, about a quarter to a half inch diced. All right. So now I'm gonna take about half this celery into the mock one, half into the one that's gonna become clam chowder. Clam chowder is really one of my favorite soups. It's just full of wonderful umami and flavor and between the vegetables and the clams, you have just such a wonderful experience. And if you're doing the mock one as vegan, the mushrooms that I'm gonna use are gonna add a wonderful, wonderful flavor to this. The next step is to prepare the mushrooms. And I decided to use a shiitake mushroom. So I'm gonna take out about what would make a, about a half a cup. So that's gonna be about it. And then I'm just gonna slice these. You can use trumpets, you can use portobellas, you can use button. The shiitakes make a nice flavor, so, and that was what was available today. We've got the mushroom sauteing along with the rest of the bulk. And then in this one, we're gonna go ahead and add the clam. So I'm using a whole baby clam. It takes about 20 ounces and there is a lot of clam juice in here. You want all that clam juice. So we're gonna pour this right in to the one that's gonna be our regular chowder. And all that juice is gonna be a huge part of the whole flavoring system here. So at this point, we've got the mushrooms cooking. I'm gonna use a different spoon for the vegan one. So I'll be doing this Sunday at the Super Bowl. So gotta make sure that we do that. And remember, this is a dairy-free clam chowder. So for those that still love conventional proteins, fish, 
You can use this as a base and have a dairy-free option, including the gravy. And now it's time to add our smoking potato leek. So I thawed this overnight. Still got a little bit of frozen to it. And I am going to add a little bit of almond milk. So the directions on the soup say to, about, to add water. In, for this recipe, I'm going to add a little bit of the almond milk. And then I'm going to dump this one into the mock clam chowder. Add a little bit of the almond milk. And now we are off to the races. I'll give this a little stir. Turn this heat up a little bit. And we're going to want to bring this to a rolling, gentle boil. Let it simmer for how oh, about 15 minutes and that'll finish cooking the potatoes and the rest of the veggies and then we're ready to serve. While this is finishing, I'm going to add a little bit of pepper and then I'm going to give it a little stir. All right, while this is finishing, I'm going to chop up some chives. We have here some oyster crackers. So for you clam chowder enthusiasts, we've got your oyster crackers handled. All right, it's showtime. So we're gonna scoop up the mock chowder first. The smells coming out of here are just incredible. You guys gotta get this done. I'll place that one here. And now the clam chowder. Oh, you can just smell the umami popping off of this bowl. Place this one here. So now your vegan friends are super happy, your dairy-free friends are happy, and you got some clam chowder ready to serve. I'm gonna top it with a little bit of chive, some oyster crackers. And I always like to have a little Tabasco, but this is ready to serve. If you're in Reno, and you want to pick up some soups, go to any of the Grateful Gardens restaurants, Whole Foods, Natural Grocers, or the Great Basin Community Food Co-op. If you're out of town, GinoTheSoupMan.com, get your soup scription on. Have a beautiful night. Peace.